Well, the day is still young. You still have time to get today's Del Marva Life Daily Deal. Only $15 for $30 worth of dry cleaning services at any Capital Cleaners location in Delaware. You can get the Daily Deal on DelmarvaLife.com. The show Elementary returns to WBOC for its second season tonight. I love the show. Holmes and Watson will be in London to help track down an old mentor and investigate an unsolved mystery. Well, this afternoon, we get to go behind the scenes for a preview. Action! I remember we were shooting um, at the end of season one, and they told us we were going to be coming to London for the first episode. So once we knew we were coming to London, it was a matter of figuring out what kind of story do you want to tell here. An ex-colleague of his in London has come, uh, has got himself into a bit of trouble. Before I came to New York, I worked with an inspector Lestrade at Scotland Yard. Just been informed he's got himself in a spot of trouble. And he agrees to go back to London with Watson to try and help out. Joan Watson meet Gareth Lestrade, late of Scotland Yard. Pleasure. It's an opportunity to see him in his own element. It's an opportunity to get a sense of his personal history before New York. We've got uh, two particularly really well-written characters coming in. I'm a different man now, Watson. It's a different city. London is always a different city. It's always nice to get a trip back home. I mean, for me, it's really exciting. It's the first time I've ever shot in London. It's really fabulous to also look out from the locations that we're filming and see all the incredible sites, you know, Big Ben, and, and there's going to be Buckingham Palace, there's going to be um, lots of black taxis. I know you. You were Strahd's crutch. One of the many secrets they uncovered was that you were the architect of his greatest successes. You give me too much credit. I think you're the one who gave too much credit. Obviously, our Sherlock left the UK in disgrace. He bottomed out here. He didn't feel he could work at Scotland Yard anymore. You know, I was thinking since we're in London, this might be a good opportunity to work on Step 9. Step 9? You think I should start making amends to people I have harmed now? We just don't want to be fighting bad guys all the time. We need to find things out about these characters so we can follow them and care about them. When Sherlock arrives, he is looking forward to bringing Joan to 221B. 221B is my original Sanctum Sanctorum. You know, it's a good thing to be able to visit that, because it's, you know, it's important to these characters. So. It is the only aspect of my life in London that I have truly missed. And it's sort of built it up, and of course, by the time they get there, he realizes most of his stuff has been removed, and you know, Mycroft has moved in. Mycroft Holmes, I'm Sherlock's brother. I think Watson's very surprised that Sherlock has a brother. Frankly, I'm more interested in the fact that you never mentioned that you had a brother. So it's a bit of a surprise that the two brothers are, are back together. We, you know, we realized they had a falling out a few years ago, really haven't spoken in quite some time. It's funny that Sherlock's never mentioned me to you. I wonder why that might be. This again? Seriously? And so it's it's a bit awkward, and, and of course, Joan is, is caught in the middle of it. So while Sherlock is trying to help Lestrade, he also has to own up to some of the history he has with his brother. What have you done with my things? Charity shops. You're joking. When Mycroft meets Joan, he's quietly fascinated by the fact that she has a kind of relationship with Sherlock that he's never seen before. I want to know, how does one become Sherlock Holmes' friend? The story in the premiere is a closed-ended case, but in meeting Mycroft, in meeting Lestrade, we have a couple of gentlemen we'd like to see back, if possible. I think Mary Poppins is going to visit this week as well. I can't wait. I'm so excited. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I, I love the show. Absolutely love the show. Now, uh, the season premiere of Elementary is tonight, 10 o'clock, right here on WBOC. Thanks for watching Del Marva Life. Be sure to join us tomorrow. We speak with actress and comedian Caroline Ray. She's urging women to break the silence on what can be considered a taboo topic. We'll find out what it is. Did you know there is actually a certain time of the year when you should be shopping for your new car to get the best deal? We're going to find out when, plus learn some of the most common car shopping mistakes. And maybe you're looking to buy new furniture. There are so many choices, but few stores on Delmarva have a history that goes back three generations. We'll find out how this strong family business has survived so long. 
Brian's going to introduce us to a couple more cute faces here on Delmarva looking for a home. You're going to find out how you can help <laughs> even if you're not able to adopt. And Scott Bloodsworth and Fish Whistle take the Delmarva Life stage. Now remember, if you missed any of today's information, just visit DelmarvaLife.com. Delmarva Life, life at its best here on Delmarva. Now don't go anywhere. The BOC News at 6 starts right now.